you know, listening to that, I also miss my own father, my earthly father who have died um, when I was age 16. Her, his name is George Alu. Um, just a fun memories of him. Every time I fall, go to sleep, he sing a lullaby to me. He never fails to sing. He just keeps singing like until I go fall asleep. Because I have, maybe when I was still young, ganun talaga yung concern ko. I cannot like easily fall asleep. And I think I saw that in my daughter as well. So she, he always sing like lullaby and put powder to me so I can sleep comfortably. And he's the person who who is a learner. He loves to read. Early in the morning, I see him reading his books. He loves to read. He's, he put so much value in education. He always tells us children that I don't have riches for you to inherit, but I want you to finish schooling because if you do, you will be okay. And then, uh, I like his routines now. After dinner, he always bring us out to walk. We walk together with our brothers and sister. Sometimes my mom doesn't go with us because he wash dishes and all this stuff. Um, but that's where he, he bond with us. He talk with us. I don't know why I'm so emotional, but I just felt that song. I was so touched by the song that written by a daughter to his father. Na, yeah, I miss my dad also. He he always like bring with him a cane, <laughs> like just not really a cane uh, stuff, but it's just a stick, no, na, to protect us if there is dog, there is prob, there are not good people. While we walk, he has a cane to hit <laughs> to protect us. So, and then I remember that um. Uh, he's the one who who guide us and teach us because actually growing up as I shared to you I'm not really like a studious uh, child I'm not that obedient um, but he tried his best before <laughs> the there's periodical exam he will really teach but he's the one who wake us up when we have exam now oh you have to study and he makes simple and complicated things that oh, it's too difficult, so many things to memorize because I'm not studious, right? So I don't do learning chunk by chunk, but sometimes cramming, but he makes things simple. No, you, it's so easy, explain. So that's my memory of my dad. And then I like, he weekly talaga. I don't know if we miss a week, but he, I know we are growing up, we are just renting. We're not rich, we don't even have a car how you know how he brought us to our school he drive like he not car huh? he bought a tricycle um with a sidecar we are there and bring us to school because when we ride jeepney we always late because jeepney so many people like when it reached to our place punona it's full already so we cannot ride on until we become we always go late school since we cannot afford to buy a car he bought a sidecar so he parang bicycle siya na may side we can sit there so we will not be late to school and starting our business like dried fish business he does that tricycle also to put the stuff and bring it home then repack it and sell it to the department store sell it to different offices and he also tells me to, oh, you can sell to your teachers. They also want to eat dying like that. You know, I said, Papa, I'm shy because there is smell <laughs> because dried fish, the one may smell. Yan. She said, no, don't be ashamed because you're not stealing the man. You are just sharing what the business, something like that. So I learned to be an entrepreneur through my dad. Until now, I think I'm like that. I don't feel shy if I share to people what I see is nice. Kasi parang I'm doing the right thing naman. I'm not like, ano, kanang, 
no need to be shy you you should be ashamed if you're doing like stealing that is wrong that i got it from him but the thing is when i get to know jesus as my lord and savior my father is a free thinker so at first he is really not um so favoring that me becoming a believer so he reasoned with me <laughs> sometimes he he disagree with me what i learned in church but you know when I, when he saw kathy why you become before you keep on talking back you don't love to study why now you become diligent you want to honor us and of course now i still talk back wala namang 180 degree change but you know my father saw that change in me and then he he said um kathy i think i want to listen what the church is teaching you why you become good girl now from very disobedient naughty then become like this because growing up i was spoiled because i'm very sickly in the family i always end up like in the hospital have so many antibiotic after antibiotic because i have asthma attack every year mga three to four times so sometimes they look at me until i can fall asleep because i kept having wheezing that i cannot sleep i just ah, difficulty breathing so that's how i was so pampered na i even not allowed to leave a room it's my younger sister, my Atsi, Ahya, who will do my my chores for me because they don't need me to be tired because I might get sick. So I'm very spoiled. I'm so thankful I become a believer because I've changed a lot. <laughs> I don't know where am I right now if I did not put my faith in the Lord. And then my father saw the change and he believed in the Lord Jesus. Especially there was a time na he cannot also sleep. He got worried because our business went down. He said, my, your mom will be worried. I, I said, Pa, why are you still awake? It's already like maybe 2 a.m., 3 a.m. She said, no, our family business is going down. I don't know what to do do your mom will be worried i said papa look at the birds in the sky the lilies in the field they do not worry that then i remember i asked him do you want to believe jesus as your lord and savior like one whole i know i mean i my faith is so small i i don't know if he will believe no i asked him do you want to accept jesus in your heart one eighth of your heart one fourth one half i did not go to one whole but you know he said it out of course one whole you know i prayed with him that night or that early dawn and then i know my father is in heaven he may not be with us with me right now but i know someday we will meet him in heaven so if you still have your father with you now they might they may i don't know i'm sure no matter what imperfection your father have or vices or sin or was not responsible i'm sure one way or the other there are things that your father have done right to you as a child remember those happy moments and forgive your father and make right with him and as a father you're listening if you have chance grab every opportunity to reach out to your child because while you still have while you are still here on this world because someday when you leave and no more chance to show your love and be present to your kids so i hope this message um brings uh reflection to you so i this is my last verse in isaiah 49 14 to 16 but Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me. The Lord has forgotten me. Never, never can a mother forget her nursing child. Can she feel no love for the child he has born? But even if that were possible, even if your mother or your father might forget you, but remember this, God said, I will, I would never, or I would not forget you behold i have inscribed you on the palm of my hands your walls 
are ever before me. Even if our parents may forget us, our Heavenly Father will never leave you nor forsake you. He loves you, even He died for you. So let us um, put our hope and trust in the Lord. Whoever of you who has not yet believed Jesus as his Lord and Savior, as your Abba Father, Heavenly Father, pray this prayer with me as we close tonight, this morning sharing. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your great love to us, for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, so that my sin will be forgiven and I will experience the unconditional love of you, you as my heavenly father. Lord, I commit and surrender every father, my own father and every father in the world. Wherever they are, Lord, we speak blessing to them. Lord, revive, restore father to their senses that they will do the role and that they will make positive impact to their own homes. Once again, Lord, today I put my hope and trust in you as my Heavenly Father. Help me to relate to my own father, parent. If ever I have no more father, I still have my mom to treat her in a way that I should love her, honor her, and respect her. Because it's your command to honor your parents. Yes. And we will live long in the land and we will be successful. Lord, help me obey your commands. I need you, Lord. Help us build strong families. Protect and guard our families. Hallelujah. Let not the enemy have any foothold in our family. Forgive us, Lord, for our hurting words that we have said to our loved ones. Change us, Father my attitude, my behavior, my words, that I will only speak words of encouragement, words that edifies in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Once again, forgive me, Lord, for all my sins, for my imperfections, inadequacy, Lord, forgive me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And happy Father's Day to all of you. Hallelujah. Thank you and God bless. See you next week. And I would like to invite everyone, if you want to have a care group, a Bible study group, an accountability group, every Thursday, Testament Ministries International have care group at 8.15 to 9.30. So it's Zoom meeting lang. So if we have men, women, and then we can break into groups. Yes. So we can have like... A spiritual family. Yes, you have your own family at home, biological family. You also have a spiritual family. So let's learn the word of God together. God bless and enjoy your day with your loved ones.